Hey guys, Antihero Sar here, welcoming you back to Let's Play More Kingdom Hearts Birth by Sleep Final Mix. In the last episode, we finished off the Enchanted Dominion and showed off the Mirage Arena. And in this episode, we're going to be doing the Command Board! But first, um, I did level up a bit in between episodes. Um, and before I do Command Board, I want to switch out my commands. Um, I also stopped off and bought a few more spells. Alright, so, hmm, I can only meld these two, but Blazara needs a bit more before I can meld it, otherwise I won't get the effect. So, let's go to the command board. Alright. So, welcome to Monopoly! Or, command board. It's pretty much Monopoly. Um, so, you... You got a bunch of boards here. Um, we only have one right now. Um, so we c can set the amount of, of GP that the goal. So this is the amount that you need to get to in order to win. Um, I'm gonna set it at. Um, hmm. I'm gonna set it at five thousand. And so we're gonna play off. So yeah, pretty much, it's Monopoly. Um, no, I'm gonna keep the order. Alright, so, um, basically, um, we have our roll, which is basically roll the dice, see how much spaces we move on. We got our hand, which we can use some of our, com we, we can use our commands to activate some effects. Um, stats are basically, um, your things and then options are basically what they you would think um, I'm gonna put these on fast because otherwise it's gonna be so slow so basically what you want to do is you can see that there's these color panels around the board and what you want to do is get to every one of them once and once you get to them you want to make your way back to the the keyhole here which is basically go and you will basically gain a level up. Well, you'll get a property bone. Uh, yeah, level up. Um, it will be based on the amount of uh, properties you own and all that crap. Um, so we can move to this. Or we can land on this. Um, this is a bonus panel. Basically, it already has a command in it. And so we can pay, we can buy it, and we will get that command. So I think I'm gonna go up first because, um, yeah, basically telling you about checkpoints. Um, I want to get the um, cube there. Um, that purple cube, you can see there's a number beside it. Um, once that number goes down to zero, you will get a um, a special prize bonus from it meaning that you'll get extra GP nice. all right so aqua's already down there um, I'm gonna use my hand I'm gonna go into my hand use my two dice my two dice like so I'm um, using it I can roll two dice so yeah, it's basically Mario Party slash monopoly yeah prize cubes and damage panels um those blue panels there, since Aqua landed on it, she loses GP. This panel here is the special panel. Um, each board has a different um, ability that you land on it. This one is Keyblade Glider. Basically, you can move to any panel you want. And I want to move to this one because getting this one uh, gets you Ragnarok, which is another shot lock, which is why you want to um, play this as early as you can so you can unlock a really powerful shot lock right at the beginning and Ven's buying magnet and aqua is going to be buying there too um you can see that e there's a bunch of different colors on these different t colored squares um, basically those are like the um, zones 
the more you buy in that zone, the more um, you can get. Um, basically, the more properties you own in that zone, the higher value they'll go up and whatnot. So... Um, landing on a checkpoint, um, will, well, passing a checkpoint will give you a card, like you saw, and landing on it will allow you to level up your, um, commands that you've placed down already. So, alright, so we want to go here. Um, hmm. You can kind of see on the map what it, you'll get. I need that yellow, but I kind of want to go up and get that prize box bonus. And I think that's what I'll do. We so we get 500 GP from landing on that five times. And here we can level up our commands. Um, I'm going to level this up to level two. Um, yeah, each command panel can go up to level five. So if you land a, a command panel and have enough GP, you can buy out the command. So you can see Ben both has both panels in the blue zone, so they went up by 50%. If he had placed, uh, instead of, if he had two spells on there, they would get a bonus for being the two of the same type of commands, plus the um, property commands. So yeah, basically telling you how to play Monopoly, pretty much. So we can choose which command we want to put here. Hmm. I think I'll put Blazara on it, just so I can start leveling it, leveling it up. So Joker's Fortune is basically random effect. So he has panel capture, so he can take a panel. Stole Aquas. Um, the panel capture is random, so. Yeah, as you can see there, since he controlled two magic spells right after another, he has the... He got a magic... He got a panel bonus, so... Alright. So let's see here. Got a three. Okay. Okay, you got five. Yeah, I sort of this is boring, um... This is one reason why I kind of wanted to get it, show it off as soon as I can. Just so I don't have to show it off later. Alright. Um, actually, I want to see... Hmm. Yeah, I'm going to use the two okay. dice. To see if I can avoid getting hit with the um, negative panels there. Hmm. So if I go down, I'll land on that panel. So I think that's what I'll do. So I can move to any panel. And which is nice, is because I'm missing the yellow. I can go to the yellow checkpoint and still get the effect from it. So I get an extra bonus and an extra card, and I can level up the panel I want. I think I'm going to level this up to level 5. There. We go. there. Now we got to pass that in order to get to um, the, well, the quote-unquote go. Nice. Alright. Yeah, I normally go for red last because how far away it is, and you got to loop back around anyways. All right. Oh, hey. Good thing I leveled that one up. All right. Um. Yeah. Okay. I was trying to see um what I put the goal as because I I forgot already. So I'm gonna level by this command, and hmm, here or here. Oh, well, it doesn't really matter. Sonic Shadow's almost done. 
I think I'll start leveling up another cure. So, what are you gonna do, buddy? Alright, and you got two. Um, that one boosts all properties by 7%, so. Got a six. There we go. Hmm, where do I want to go? So, as you can see, I la since I landed on go, I got a lap bonus, a panel bonus for the amount of um, panels that I have, and a card bonus for the amount of cards I have in my hand. So. Hmm, actually. Yeah, I'm gonna land here. Get the checkpoint. And level this up. There we go. And because I have an idea of what I have in my hand, I can actually win next turn. Oh wait, never mind. I just need to get to to the keyhole. So I pretty much picked a good route. So instead, I'm going to use the three dice. To get free rolls and hoping I can get to start yeah there we go All right. and there yeah kind of boring um but so after you ap after every match you get all the panels that you bought and then depending on your GP your spells will level up and yeah, that's the command board. So now, since Blizzard leveled up, actually, at first I want to meld these cures. Um, hmm. I think I'll put a Wellspring Crystal on it. So I got Cura with Combo Plus. And then Sliding Dash and Blizzard, Blizzara would give me Blizzard Edge. Um, strike Raid with Blizzara will give me something new. I'll put a Pulsing Crystal on this one. So I got Freeze Raid with a Combo Finisher Plus. So I'll put Freeze Raid on and Cura. And then... Yeah, um, Sonic Shadow is almost done. Once that's finished, I'll... Switch that over. So, got combo plus, which adds an extra hit to our combo. And combo finisher plus, um, increase the damage dealt by your bl last, blow in com last blow in combos. Um, while I was grinding, I actually unlocked a new finisher, Gold Rush. Um, to unlock this, you need to collect the money, basically. Um, every m money you collect will add a point to this, and then after a certain amount of money, you will finish, you will unlock this. So I'm going to show that off, and then I think after I show this off, I'm going to switch back to finisher to unlock this command. So, now, let's go to Castle Dreams. Is something wrong? It's just that my friends made me the most beautiful dress, but my stepmother and stepsisters ruined it, and I was so looking forward to the ball. Huh? <laughs> Darkness always finds a way into a wounded heart. You have to be strong. Strength of heart will carry you through the hardest of trials. But I... I... Huh. Unversed! See, so I think this is the only instance where the music from the cutscene continues into the battle. 
Alright. So yeah, you can see how much stronger we've gone just from being level 10. Alright, so we got Diamond Dust now. Oh yeah, you got these little guys again, which... Um, kept killing me in the Mirage Arena. There we go, Sonic Shadow leveled up, so... Um, I believe level 5 is the max for Sonic Shadow, so... Right after this cutscene, I'm gonna switch it out. I can't believe... Not anymore. Uh, Strength of heart is huh? important, but oh, that's, that's not that's all that's you need. Huh? There's nothing left to believe in. Nothing. Nothing, my dear. Oh, now, you don't really mean that. Oh, but I do. It's just no use. Nonsense. If you'd lost all your faith, I couldn't be here. And here I am. Oh, come now. Dry those tears. You can't go to the ball looking like that. The ball? Oh, but I'm not. Of course you are. But we'll have to hurry. Now, what were those magic words? Oh, yes! Bibbidi bobbidi boo! This can't last forever. You'll have only till midnight, and then on the stroke of twelve, the spell will be broken, and everything will be as it was before. Yes, I understand. full of light why didn't I see it what did you do I can hardly tell she's the same person who are you Tara Tara in your heart do you believe that dreams can come true I do but I also believe you have to make an effort to make them come true yes of course but sometimes just believing in dreams is easier said than done Cinderella believes her dreams can come true. I wanted her to see that she is right. So that's what made her shine. Faith in her heart that anything is possible. Where did she go? To the royal ball at the palace. Go, and when you see her dancing, you'll know that she believes, and that will help you to believe too. Okay, I, I like how um fa that fairy godmother never noticed Terra before. Um, so I'm going to switch out Sonic Shadow before I forget. So I'm going to equip Ragnarok. And then let's go. Hmm, no treasure back here. At a save point. Oh, enemies. Yeah, after you get Cure, items are pretty much useless. And then that there was Gold Rush. 
I don't know if you saw it, but I'll try to show it off better next time I get get it. Okay, so this is Gold Rush. Um, hitting an enemy will make it make them drop lots of money. So. Alright, so Ragnarok's already leveled up. And we're at level 11 too, so that's nice. Got another sticker. Alright. Ooh, Thunderstorm. Uh, another shot lock command that I'll have to show off. Um, that's probably going to be the one I use after Ragnarok. So, I'm going to show off Ragnarok next time we get into fight, which should be now. Or not. Right now. There we go. I'm going to wait until I get better enemies because Flood are annoying. Oh, these guys. Boots. Um, these guys are annoying. Because they can go invincible randomly. So Ragnarok, after you shoot the first volley, um, you can time the button press in order to shoot more basically um, you want to get you want to press X as soon as the circle that's shrinking is inside the um, outline of the other circle so yeah um, sliding dash leveled up I believe that's maxed out yeah so I'm gonna switch that out for blizzard I guess then I'm just gonna get Thunder um, Storm off my list. So we got slow. Got more bruisers. Get back here. Hey. Freeze in the name of the law. Alright, freeze raid them. Lots of money. Yeah, um, like I said, after the first world, I don't use D-Links that much, so. Alright, so we got those guys. Um, Slang Dash is at level 3. These guys, prize pods. Um, they drop um, items, which um, are used for later. Um, these guys are really rare and kind of hard to beat. So, you kind of want to focus that one at a time. They will disappear after a while. Like now. Um, they only spawn in once every visit to a new world. Or to that world. So. Hmm. What do I want to do? I think I'm going to equip another blizzard. So. Come here. Get over here. Alright, so Blizzard's level 2. Alright, that floods down. Here is the map, I believe. Yeah. Alright. More scrappers. Not here, too. <gasps> I've met you before. I'll take care of them. You wait right here. Please, may I go with you? I so want to get to the ball. Um. All right. But stay behind me, or you'll get hurt. <laughs> You're not worried? Didn't you tell me it was important to stay strong? Oh. Um, I, I guess I did. <laughs> <laughs> so, you ready? Yes.
Uh, escort missions. All right. Um, since command board's kind of boring, I'll include this into this episode. Um, give you a little longer episode just to make up for that command board. Get over here. Get back here. Oh, um, little warning. This is a pain in the ass on um critical. Yeah, second world, and they already expect you to do an escort mission. So, kind of a pain in the ass. But, oh well. That's kind of why I wanted to grind up to level 10 before starting this episode. Because if you're not ready, it will kick your ass over and over again. Get up here! Come on, hurry. This is why I hate escort missions. Can, can we? Like, seriously. Are you? Thank you. Okay. Come here. I <laughs> froze him right in the air. Okay. Yeah. She'll get in your, into your way and she'll start running off ahead when you're not near her. So you want to be careful. So what I recommend is going up and just kind of attacking enemies as you can. Okay. Here's kind of a split path. I don't remember which way she goes. I believe she goes this way. So, um, yeah, I kind of just want to run ahead and take care of the enemies before they can get to her. Because once an enemy is dead, once you kill an enemy and at their spawn point, they won't spawn again for the escort mission. All right. Where is she? Oh. Wait. How is she getting hurt? Oh my god. This is what I mean. <sighs> Alright, let's try that again. Just, like, look at the amount of damage she takes. Okay. Just stay here. Okay, Ragnarok's leveled up. I think she goes this way. Which way are you going? Okay, yeah, she goes that way. That's why. Those stupid boots were killing her. I didn't need the heal, but whatever. Huh. Looks like I kept all the experience that I gained when I pressed retry. Okay, can you hurry up? Okay, hello? I'm right here. Oh. Oh, thank you, um... Tara. Thank you, Tara.
Maybe just believing is enough. But who is she, Mother? Do we know her? Well, the Prince certainly seems to. I've never seen her before. Nor I. But she certainly is. Wait. There is something familiar about her. Unversed. <laughs> Tell me, how do I get up there? <clears throat> well, uh, there is a passage beneath the foyer staircase. Thanks. <laughs> All right, and I think I'm gonna end off here. Um, if you liked this episode, please come like, subscribe, share with your friends. If you haven't already, please check out my Facebook and Twitter for video updates and whatnot. I've been Anto Hero Sora. And apparently Terra doesn't want to interrupt the ball where it's just the prince and Cinderella dancing. And there's no one else in that ballroom. Yeah, what a ball. See you next time.